Hey everyone, and welcome to Simply Singapore. I'm your host, Larry Fenelier, and the lady who's simply going to be cooking Singapore is Miss Aslin Blore from the UK. But before we get to Aslin, let me introduce the folks in the peanut gallery or in the, <laughs> <laughs> or in the film strip. <laughs> Starting on my extreme left, we have Ali Phillips. Ali is from South Carolina. Hi, Hi. Ali. Hi, Larry. Hi, everybody. Great to be here. Always a pleasure to see you, my dear. Thank you. You're looking quite lovely today. Actually, oh. you're matching. You're, you're actually matching the the, the um, painting behind. My you. painting is in the, in the back. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I thought I would just kind of blend in. Be, be, I, I want to be a wallflower, so I'm blending in. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna skip um, Aslan because we're gonna come back to her next. To Aslan is Marilyn Ritter and George Cohen from. San Francisco, not San Francisco, uh, Mountain View, California. Ooh. That's right. Hello, yeah. everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's hey. just, uh, this hangout, uh, the timing for us out here in California is perfect because it's lunchtime. <laughs> oh, wow. So we get to hear about this kind of great food. Yeah, yeah. Good to have you guys again. Yeah, good to be here. Uh, next to George and Marilyn, we have George Sepich. The real George, greetings. Real. <laughs> yeah. Jorge. It's for, we're changed to see the Jorge. 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 The, the real George. How you doing, George? And George is from uh, Texas, Austin, Texas. To yeah. be the outskirts of Austin, Texas, Larry. Oh, outskirts of Austin, Texas. I stand corrected, <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, next to George, we have Maggie Unzweta. Maggie Hello. Hills from San Diego, California. Hi, Maggie. Hello. Good, good to see you. Yeah, stay class in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Ma Maggie, Maggie and I just did the um, bilingual sh sh uh, food stories last week. Si, señor. It, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yo, quiero, yo, quiero, yo quiero tacos. Oh, don't make me get my maracas out again. Yeah. Yo, yo quiero comida de Singapore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, next, next, uh, Maggie, we have a new kid on the block, Nicholas Bojulu, Bo Boju Blue, Boju Blue, right? Nick? Boju. <laughs> Obi, Obi brother. Yeah. Um, Obi Odysseus, Odysseus Boju Blue's brother. How about Nicholas B? Nick, uh -huh. Nick B, Nick B, yeah. Nick B, I like it. And, yeah. and he hails, he hails all the way from Greece. Good to have you, Nick. Good to be here. Great, great. And this is the word. And next to Nick, we have the pirate himself, Mr. Richard Wooding. Are you doing, Hi. Richard? And he hails from South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa, Ooh. to be exact. Nice, nice. Oh, great. Uh, so now that you've met everyone except the lady of the half hour, the, the, the queen, the queen of the cuisine, <laughs> of the Singapore cuisine, Miss Aslin Blore. Hey Aslin, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good, Larry. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I am I'm Aslin Blore from linsfood.com uh, where you can find lots of my other recipes and um, I am also pretty active on G+. I, I manage the Foodies Plus community that you've probably heard me mention before, um, as well as the I'm the founder of the Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesian cuisine community. Um, I'm also a health hub provider. Now that I've plugged myself, <laughs> oh, look, there's a map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we know where you are now. <laughs> I glow. Yeah, and uh, Richard is going to take us down for those of for those of us out there who are graphic geographically challenged. Richard is going to take us down to South, uh, not South Africa, but to yeah, Singapore. Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> so we will get to learn a little bit more about Aslan's um, homeland. Be me up. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, so Aslan, as we as we go down, you want to tell us. Also known as the Lion City, we are pretty small. We are just at the edge of the uh, Malaysian Peninsula. Mm -hmm. uh, a pretty small country, but with a population of almost six million. If I'm talking, oh. you can't see the the globe. 
yeah um yeah he he's he's right right around uh yeah and and isn't singapore made up of some a series of islands no it's not no uh, there is well you know we do have inconsequential islands about around us but that's that's indonesia indonesia is the one that that has that's the biggest world's biggest archipelago but that's a different hangout um okay. Singapore, it's uh, we're, we're very tiny, as I said, but we are very, very multicultural. It, it's not the same as saying something like, say, the U.S. has got lots of um, cuisine cultures. Uh, in Singapore, we have four official races, four official languages, four official religions, in that we celebrate, um, for example, Chinese New Year is a public holiday, Christmas is a public holiday, the Muslim Eid is a public holiday. Um, the Indian, uh, the, the, the Hindu Diwali is a public holiday. So, you know, we, we, we grow up with all these things, we grow up with each other's um, cuisines. Um, so in, in that respect, I think we are very special. Yes, um, you are. Yes. Yeah. Now, and and, and the, mm -hmm. the place is bountiful of uh, great, uh, great cuisine because of the, the, the multicultural um, and diversity of, of the people yeah. and the cuisine. Yeah. It is, but one of the things, the thing about Singapore is that it's very dynamic. I mean, I, I haven't been home in quite a few years, and there's so much there that I don't recognize. These days, when people think of Singapore, people think of the Marina Bay Sands. If you guys, if you guys know of that hotel, it, it, it's tall, it looks like a sort of a UFO sculpture. It's got an infinity pool right at the top, hundreds of feet up. Mm, uh, I've, see, I've, seen the, uh, I've, I've seen photos of that, yes. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, let's get to the scene, shall we? Yes, of mm. course. Now, I, I was actually going to say, welcome to my boudoir. But <laughs> that would be a different sort of hangout, wouldn't it? It would surely <laughs> would be. Of course, that is. Help that, me out here. I'm going to be a different hangout. <laughs> that, that would be a midnight hangout. <laughs> there you go. There you then go. the peanut gallery becomes your entourage. <laughs> your entourage. <laughs> oh, oh let, let, me, let, me, let me give a quick reminder, uh, Aslan, before you start. Uh, the folks who are watching, the quick Q&A app is open, so feel free to ask Aslan or any one of us here in the hang hangout and any questions related to the topic. Of um of today's show, which is the the big uh, salmon. Big, big salmon on a bed of jasmine rice. Mm. On a bed of jasmine rice. Okay, great. Uh, uh, no. I did I did a full roasted salmon at, in, in um, at Christmas last year, and uh, lots of people had problems with the BDI staring back at them. And um, so so this is this is kind of a solution for that. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to um um. Place a layer of rice, cooked rice, cooked jasmine rice, um, in in a in a in an ovenproof dish. We're going to marinate. Before that, we're going to marinate the salmon, which I've got here. Okay. What I usually do, the recipe's on my blog. What I usually do, salmon's here, is I marinate it and then I go cook the rice. So salmon gets marinated for about 20 minutes or so. Now, what do we marinate it with? We're very flexible with this recipe. Um, standard thing like garlic, onion. Garlic, ginger, um, lemongrass, galangal, which I'll come back to in a bit, um, and some chili. I've got some hot Thai chilies here, but you know, you can control the heat. Now, if you can't get galangal and you can't get lemongrass, leave them out, no big deal. The recipe is not going to suffer for it. We're going to pound everything or chop or blend everything into a fine paste and you are going to get this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's and nice. That's what, yeah. that's what we are going to do. Wow. Marinate the salmon. There we are. Mm, yeah. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Good Alrighty. Um, just back, back to back to what I was talking about. Now, this is ginger. As you all know, ginger is pretty common. This is. Let me show you galanga, which looks like ginger, but it's not quite yellow, mm -hmm. and it's sweet compared to the ginger's spicy. Mm -hmm. and once and for all, those of you who want to cook Southeast Asian food, you cannot substitute yeah. ginger for galana. It just doesn't work. We, we've had this ongoing debate for years now. Some people insist 
you can, and many of us who are born in Southeast Asia, this is Bhutan. So there you go. And hey, uh, uh, Aslan, let me ask yeah. you a question. Is there a substitute for Galangal? I no. mean, I, I know you can't substitute ginger for it, but no substitute at all? No, not at all. Some things just cannot be substituted. Okay. Which, which is a bummer when you're making Thai curry paste because you need galangal in there. Some people say increase the amount of ginger, add some lemon peel, mm -hmm. add some lemon grass, mm -hmm. or a bit of maize, or a bit of cinnamon, but you know, it's just not going it's to It's not the same. Okay. Right, right, okay. right. So we got to find it. Yeah. And, and, and you can get it at... Um, most Asian stores in the U.S. can can you? Yeah. Can well, you? It depends on where you live, I guess. Some of my mm -hmm. friends can get them easily, and others not for the life of them. So mm -hmm. you know. Okay. And yet, um, I've got a good friend in in Pakistan, Maria Nase. Some of you all will know her. Uh, I sent her some galangal at Christmas because, despite the fact that she's in Asia, she can't get galangal. Mm -hmm. so, wow. You know. And this is turmeric. Again, it still looks a, a much thinner version of of ginger and stuff, and it's mm -hmm. yellow. And mm -hmm. There you go. It's very yellow. Am I there? And it stains. Mm. Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And uh, then of course, with turmeric, sorry, with turmeric, it's just a case of using the powder. Because mm -hmm. chances are you're not going to get fresh turmeric. So I, I, I have a question coming in, um, Aslan. Um, again, it was back to the Galangal. Um, Daniel Weinhoff wants to know where where can you buy it? And, and like we said, you could. Daniel, you could probably get it if you live in the U.S. You could probably get it at uh, most Asian stores, if there's yeah. an Asian store in your area. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I might might want to. Uh, yeah, if you are lucky, you will get it. Now, many Asian stores don't carry them. I've heard so. You know, I think it's just a case of. I mean, even in my case, I have to get them online. I'm in the U.K. I can get most ingredients, but really online. But um, yeah. I remember. Um, George, you probably remember this when Stacy did her Thai Thai one on with Stacy Fraser, and some of her dishes did call for galangal, and she was able to get it in um, the area where she lived, and she lived in uh, just outside of Seattle, and uh, right. she got it at at a local Asian market there. Okay, so Aslan, if you buy it, how long does it keep? Do you have to refrigerate it? You can freeze them. You can free. Okay, great, oh. great. Okay, good. And, and my, my suggestion is to cut, say, you know, cut them up in slices and freeze yeah. them up like that so that you can defrost what you need. And lastly, which we're not using for today's recipes, but I thought I'll just show, you, show it to you because I've got it. This is called lesser galangal and again, used in Thai dishes. And, and, and we especially use this for seafood recipes. You, 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 you want to bring it closer to the camera, Asim, please? Yeah, sure. Can you spell those words uh, or just get a close spelling t for me, Aslan? Yeah, it's G A L A Gala now, N G A L. So that's your lesser Gala now. And it's sort of same color as ginger. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Couple, you know? couple of folks are chiming in. Um, Carmen Manich says uh, she has a margaritas ready. Uh, <laughs> no, no, ma no, no, her, sing her Singapore sling, sorry, Ooh. is ready. Who <laughs> said that? Um, Carmen Mandich. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. she, she, she was on, she was on the um, show last week. Yeah, she's, she's a, a singer of porcelain is what you need after you drink too many of those and fall down. <laughs> yeah, you need a real sling. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I please ask a very, a very quick uh, question? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, Nicholas. Um, about your marinade, how much time, how much time do you, do you let your salmon? To 20 or 30 minutes is fine, Nicola. Usually how much? How much? 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not usually, too long. Usually, I, I make the marinade. I marinate the salmon. I go cook the rice, and that takes about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. And then when it's done, I just dump the rice in the oven-proof dish and continue. That's it. That's how I do it. That's how I do the dish. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to start. Um, setting it up, assembling it. Oh, um, again, just before I, I um, get on with it, lemongrass, you only really want to use the bottom half of it, this end. You never use the top end. And quite often when you use lemongrass, sometimes you chop it up to blend it to get a face, but at other times you bruise lemongrass, and this is how you do it. That's it. And then you dump it. Whatever it is. So that's called bruised lemongrass. A great, a great 
flavor addition to cooked rice, plain rice. Oh, cool. That's a great idea. Yeah. So you, oh, great. You would, you would just put that in the rice uh, like That's that, right. Aslan? That's right. Oh, I like that. And, and vodka. And vodka. And vodka. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Make the perfect Christmas present. Oh, wow. I like that. Uh, there's a couple, a, couple, uh, a lot of comments are coming in, George. Hold on for one sec. Uh, looks amazing. Uh, Nicole Franklin says that uh, Singapore is beautiful. Common uh, Christian uh, Kristen Richter. So glad I finally made it. I can watch Aslan. Have grown ginger here in Germany myself. Could I grow galangal as well? Yes. If yes, you can, I've got, I've got some potted up. Um, really depends on 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 the weather and the conditions. Sometimes it can take up to as close as a year for it to shoot. One more thing which I forgot. My pots are clean, so don't panic. This is fresh turmeric potted up. Oh, wow. lovely. Lovely, wow. lovely. These are, these are turmeric leaves. Um, wow, cool. Turmeric leaves are very, very important in an iconic Singapore, Malaysian, and Indonesian dish called beef rendang. Without yeah. turmeric leaves, it's not authentic, no matter what mm. people tell you. Yeah. There you go. But you can use lime leaves. Um, right, so that, yes, you can grow galangal, you can grow turmeric. So, Christian, was it? If you can get yeah, fresh Yeah, Christian Richter, yeah. If you can get fresh turmeric, pot it up, it'll grow. And uh, in the impoverished vegan says uh, she loved the colors of the marinade. It looks beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Very smells, bright. It smells amazing as well. The combination oh, of grass, galangal, and ginger. Mm. Yeah. Southeast Asian cooking. It's amazing. Oh, and, uh, this, uh, this recipe is on your website, right? It's, on the website. it's also on the event page, Larry. Okay. 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 So, so we can go on. We're gonna we're just going to um, lightly grease the bottom of the dish, and um, we're going to dump the rice. Now, this is not plain rice. Again, the recipe is on 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 my blog. Uh, the the link is on the event page. You can use plain rice. But on special occasions, I like to make coconut rice. This is coconut rice. Oh, yum. What, in yeah. Malay, what in Malay is called, let's learn some Malay. In Malay, it's called nasi lama, N-A-S-I, which really means cream rice. Ooh. And here mm. is coconut milk, basically. Sounds, um, sounds amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm just so awesome. uh, making me hungry. Nicole, Nicole, Franklin says, Nicole Franklin says, look amazing, Aslan. Thanks for the invite to this event and the close-up shots of the food. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. The, the, all the links um, to how to cook the nasi lama. The, this is a fabulous recipe. Oh. But, but there are also individual links to all the spices that I've mentioned, explaining them further, etc., etc. You can pat it down if you want to. And then I don't do chilies with bare hands, no matter how mild they are. <laughs> oh, they're too funny. Okay, hold on. So next, let me get in here. Because in Mexico, I mean, if I did that in Mexico, <laughs> they would be like, "What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? You know, you just." I have sensitive skin. Uh, my skin uh, swells up with dust, uh -huh. so I, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. That's my yeah. excuse. That's my excuse. But but Aslan, uh, your household love um, heat, though. I mean, they they love pepper and stuff, don't they? The boys and, yes. the, and girls. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, before I forget. Carolina Reaper, the world. Oh, the world's hottest, hottest. Wow! Oh my gosh, you yeah. got it! Yes, you got yeah. it, George, 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 uh, the Scotch Bonnet King. This now the the Carolina Reaper. It, it was developed in South Carolina. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got it, some ghost peppers growing. It, it, your, your ghosts are going, okay, growing, okay. Um, the, and oh, that pepper, God. that pepper just, uh, just knocked off the Trinidadian it scorpion. Did. It did. It, it, it a scorpion yeah. growing outside too. You got a scorpion growing. Right? Okay. I ordered Larry. I ordered in the uh, world ordered developed in South Carolina. Yeah. I, I think what, what's what's the um, the, the heat range on, on the Scoville um chart. Million oh, right. it's slightly, it's slightly edging the Trinidadian scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Trinidadian scorpion is 1.3. My problem is how am I going to use it? 
to be a uh, little just a little bit. <laughs> I'll separate when we come to it. So right, we've got we've got the rice here, yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 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 throw some tomatoes. But you will do the, the the onions first. Now I did slice the onions fresh because you don't want my mascara running. Onions. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. Uh, this I looks love it. amazing. Yeah, this looks amazing. So we're just going to dump some tomato slices. Now, in the summer when you've got lots of tomatoes, if you can get the multicolored ones, even tomatillos would go very nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. you've, got that much more, you've got much more variety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, Nicholas, come over here. Come on, my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Imagine if you need to save your mascara, what I do on uh, the chopping onions is I put a little fan next to them and it blows all the uh, fumes away. And you don't ah, I, I just put my shades on. Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. George, George wears mascara all the time. So <laughs> You're not supposed to tell him about our other hangout. Right? Oh, yeah. Is it a midnight? Is it a boudoir that, 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 That's a boudoir hangout. <laughs> We don't, we don't want to know that. That will be Larry Fanelia and his 99 extra virgin. On the bar. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You, don't know, you didn't know about Larry's pajama party. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, this is getting a little racy, guys. So what, I what tell you, you. What do you have there? What, what do you got? Pay attention already, will you? <laughs> okay. Marinade, uh, a tablespoon of. Uh, I left about a tablespoon of marinade behind, and now we've got a tablespoon of. Vegetable oil, tablespoon of water, and I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle it all around. Um, oh. The onions, which might have a tendency to crisp up slightly, and the corners of the rice, same thing. Okay, and then we are just yum, going yum. to taste. Let me just show, show that to you, okay? You see mm -hmm. that? Wow, that's mm -hmm. pretty. Yeah. 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 Colorful, colorful. I'm sure it smells yeah. amazing. Oh. Oh, it smells, it's, yes. It to, especially when it starts to cook. So, salmon goes on, on, on top, on there. Uh, boneless, skinless mm -hmm. salmon is the best because then right. you, know, you don't have to worry yeah. about skin interfering. And whatever is left, you know, you just dump it on, on the fish and just dump it around the corners of the rice. The corners of the rice will have a tendency to crisp up, just like you if you, if you had potatoes, the potatoes would crisp up. If you don't want them crispy, cover the dish, but I prefer it crispy. As so, on how, many, so, uh, how many people will this uh, meal serve? Uh, uh, this particular one, two, two salmon fillets, two people. So the recipe that I've given in my in my blog is for two. It's okay. for two. And also with the marinade, you will have some leftover. So I've just you know, but don't cross contaminate with the fish. Make sure that you're not using the same spoon. Keep it. Great stir fry, great base for a curry as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Christian Christian Richter says uh, Richter says he uses his swimming goggles when he cuts onions. <laughs> yeah, so my kids do, or the chemistry chemistry goggles. So yeah. they do. Okay, so that's done. That's gonna go in the oven. Okay. And as they say in the tray, here's and magi the magical feature of hangouts is that as you put it in, you pull one out. That's done. Oh, I should have used the oven gloves. They would have made it seem more real. Oh, bummer. It is, <laughs> it is still warm. Let me show you. Oh, oh wow. Uh, oh, wow. Right wow. Aslan, why are you doing this to me? I am starving. <laughs> hey, it's lunchtime in San it's, Diego. <laughs> 25 to 30 minutes for that to, 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 to brown to crisp up slightly. Now, um, what's the time? Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you how we eat this in, in, in um, Singapore, wherever else. While, while you while you're plating up, a um, couple of comments. As uh, Gisela Chica said, Aslan, you're lovely. We use galangal in Puerto Rico. It's the same thing as galangal. We use galanga. It's the same yeah. thing as Galangal. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I didn't realize you had that in Puerto Rico. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Loving um, Paul Gorsuch. Yeah. Loving the show, inspiring and educational too. Thank you for the invite. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul you're welcome. This is far away from me. This is and, far away from me. Okay, Daniel Weihoff. Why I'm going to Singapore soon enough. What's a good value for money grocery store to buy all the nice ingredients? 
Uh, again, um, Paul, uh, Daniel, you could if there's a Asian store in your area, you can go there and get them. It's okay. readily available. I'm going to show you how we eat this. Okay. okay. Yes, here's a sum, uh, the, the, the salmon that was baked earlier. So we're going to dip it up, a slice along with the onions and the tomatoes. Okay, Kristen. Kristen Richie said Rita says she's a girl. I'm sorry, Kristen. I I was calling a Christian. I I am terribly sorry. It's Kristen. Okay, here we go. Now this is a very light vegetable curry that I cooked earlier. Okay, this mm -hmm. is how you eat it. If you are happy with dry, have a little bit of raita, have a little bit of cucumber on the side. But if you want some gravy, very light vegetable curry. All all our links on my blog on the recipe page itself. And mm. here is an egg, a bird's quail's egg sambal. Sambal is like a homemade chili sauce made from chili paste, onion, and mm. or garlic. Um, and then you would just dish a little bit up like that. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. That, is, that looks awesome. awesome. Yeah. How we would eat it. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do it in courses. Um, Can you get quails online? <laughs> A full plate like that. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. George, George wants to know if you could get quails online. <laughs> and we don't use a fork to eat our rice. We use a spoon. I, and I, I stand corrected again. Improvis Vegan, I called him a her. It's a he. I am sorry. <laughs> I, am, I am just mixing up the sectors the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on Firefox. <laughs> Just make sure you limit that to the hangout, Larry. <laughs> okay, so, Asa, sorry, go ahead. We're done. It, it was an easy recipe, wasn't oh, it? Let's Very taste easy. Taste it, taste. Do you have any taste testers around? Any, any one of your kids want to run in the frame and take a taste? Oh, my God. I tried to bribe them to come and say hello. They weren't interested. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Go, go, go ahead and... Uh, Come up, come up to the camera and make us hungry. No, <laughs> you got, you got a little evil streak in you. I no. am this uh, yeah. evil guy. Awesome. <laughs> wow. wow. The marinade blends, the, all the ingredients blend in very well, but you can still taste the individual, the, get the individual hits from the various spices. It's really, really good. Perfect dish for Good Friday, because um, it's fish. And if you want mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. to fish, lose the eggs and just have a vegetable curry on the side to complement it. Perfect. And the Fabulous. Bravo. 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 As an, I want you to stick around. There's some there's some very good questions coming up. Um, Carmen Mandich also asks, is the coconut milk is the coconut milk rice the same one used to combine with mangoes as a dessert? You know the, the sticky yes. rice? The yes. mango sticky no, rice? no, in that in that we will be using we use Thai sticky rice. Um, but you know for this particular dish I explain on the blog, you can use any rice you want. I've used sushi rice for this. This is well, really, you know, what particular mood I happen to be in. I've used boba, boba rice, I've used risotto rice, you know, just just for the heck of it. Um, I just I just wanted to mention a couple of wine recommendations recommendations that um, friend of mine Nick Stokes gave. Oh, yeah. He said that a, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro would be perfect. Marlboro would be perfect for it. And Albarino from Northwest Spain. And that's yes. also Crete yes. that he that he um Great. reviewed Great. That on uh -huh. his blog. That I, information. I, I... Larry, yeah. Yeah, and I was going to say that information could be. It, you will find it in the event. I will put Mr. Um, Stokes's mm -hmm. recommendations, wine recommendations, in the um, in the event. And uh, we would love to to have Nick uh, give some more as the, as the show progresses and, and as you have more dishes. Um, he, I would like for him to become a, a regular as far as um, making hair recommendations. Yeah. I'm working on that. He and his wife are a bit camera shy, aren't you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have another question here, uh, Aslin, from Alexandra Ricky Gonzalez, my good friend. Can you replace the quail eggs with something more accessible? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I didn't realize quail eggs were not accessible. Yeah, you can use regular eggs. Um, you can use um, fish. You can use chicken. 
Um, whatever. I on on the blog, the recipe, uh, the recipe post page. I've actually given out suggestions for um, suggestions of other recipes that will go with this particular dish. And yeah, you can use anything for the sambal. Sambal is just a whole baked chili sauce we make in many parts of Asia. Okay. okay. Um, all right. It uh, looks like there aren't any more questions. Oh, Daniel Weinhoff uh, says he's going to Asia in about six months. So he will. That's wh why his uh, his questions, you know, um, came up. Uh, so he he will be getting those um, those recipes once he gets the Asia. Cool. You know, like the galangal and 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 the turmeric, the real turmeric. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Turmeric powder works just as well. It's it's. I mean, in fact, most Asian families I know don't actually use fresh turmeric. Um, they use powder. Well, Aslan, that. This is definitely a winner. I I am just blown away with the um, with the great color, uh, as so is everyone else. Uh, Richard Richard has a Richard has a comment. Uh, Michelle Batson, Aslan, great recipe. Thank and you. Thank you, thank you, Michelle and uh, Kim Kim Boltman, good friend of ours. Sneaking in to say hi while my family snooze after dinner. Can't wait to watch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't, don't Kim. Kim, listen up for the 99 extra virgin comment, okay? Oh. <laughs> you don't want to miss that. It's somewhere I, I am not. I am not going to delete that one. Uh, but Aslan, uh, we want to thank you. It was a great, great dish. Yeah, uh, it's fabulous. Simple enough. I swear. I mean, I, I might even try that one. Yeah. Because I need I, to find a. I need to find a Singapore restaurant. In San Diego, like ASAP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to find the galango, and then I'm going yeah. to make it. Um, but I'm yeah. making the baba ganoush today. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I saw that. That, that baba ganoush yes. is awesome. Yeah, it does. It looks awesome. And I made boho it. I'm well, not sure. Why not? It's not in the kitchen if it's not boho. We we have some other questions coming in. Uh, we can't wrap up yet. <laughs> um, she asks. Uh, let me put my glasses on because oh. I am, uh, as, as we as we get as, as we get younger, our <laughs> eyesight fail. <laughs> Rita Dolce, is it okay to use dry lemongrass? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, you would have trouble. You would have trouble pounding it up even after even after um, soaking it in water. Um, so I would suggest leaving the dry lemongrass um, just. Crunch it up as much as you can in, say, a pestle and mortar, and mixing it up as it is into the um, marinade. Because it, it won't, it won't blend up, chop up properly. It's just too dehydrated. Okay. Larry, I've got to sign out. My little three-year-old grandson is wrestling, uh, rustling on the sofa, so he's getting up from his nap. So I've got to say goodbye to everybody. Okay, Ali. It was wonderful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to be making it, Aslan. Thank you for all of your amazing talents. Yeah. You just are so inspirational. Mm. Kisses to everybody. Bye. Great to see you all. Bye. Bye. And on, on that note, I would like to thank, of course, Aslan Bloss. She did a man magnificent job on what's her debut show. And we hope to get many, many more authentic Singaporean recipes from Mrs. Blo. Aslan, thank you. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Yay, cheers. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Uh, okay, and uh, I would like to thank the folks who commented in the um, in the in the chat and on the Q and A app. I'm sorry, I I mixed up the sexes. Apologies. <laughs> and uh, George and Marilyn, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're, we're, we're definitely inspired by this. We're going to definitely, definitely uh, right. do this because we can find all those ingredients. In oh, the, wow. Uh, lovely, lovely, uh, lovely. Including the fresh turmeric. Yeah. So so ah. when, I, when I visit you guys again, that will be on the menu, correct? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, George, the real George Seppich. <laughs> thank you. Everybody else. <laughs> Jorge. Jorge, there you go. Uh, Maggie Unzueta, thank you, my dear. Adios. Nicholas. Nicholas, no longer.
Nicholas is joined us. Not only a virgin now, Nicholas. No, 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 no. He, he's he's uh -huh. not an extra virgin. <laughs> <laughs> and, that we know and, of. <laughs> and Richard, Richard, thank you, sir. Thank you for yes. coming. All right. So, Aslan, any any parted words, my dear? I hope you enjoyed that. The first of hopefully many many shows, and um, join me. Next show will be on the 11th of May, right, Larry? I believe four weeks from now. Yes, yes, and uh, it's going to be 11th May. And uh, um, Naz, Nazim, Nazim Boltron just said, "Can I please, please, please come into the hangout? We are closing shop." Nazim. <laughs> <laughs> next one. Next, next one. Next one. Send you an invite, Nazim. Next one. Yeah, next, next one, Nazim. We, we will make sure you you're joining us. Uh, Nazim is from Italy, by the way. So, with that, uh, I would like to thank again Aslan and all of you guys who watched. This is live in the late. Oh, Mary, uh, one, okay. one last question. Uh, any uh, any uh, sponsors this week? Oh, we are looking for sponsors. This is Aslan's debut show, so I am sure as it progresses, we will get some sponsors. We're Very working good. on it. We're working on it. Josh, Josh, step it. By all means, go get us a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, everyone. Larry's is saying bye. Bye. bye.